Hello and welcome into the latest edition of ESPN FC Live. We are live three times a week right here on our YouTube channel, so be sure to always be with us. Just myself and Yanish Mihailik today for the latest edition. And that's good news because we've got a lot to talk about, Yanish, so it gives us more time to do so. Coming up on the show, you can see what we've got. Man City in the hunt for a quadruple. Is it a possibility? La Liga's title race already heating up. Messi talk. What's the latest? What's the status on his injury? Will he be featuring in the US Open Cup final on Wednesday? And of course, PL Express, as we always bring you on a Tuesday. But let's start, Janish, with the talk of Man City. There is a lovely article right now over on our website, ESPN.com with Mark Ogden, talking about how we cannot dismiss the fact that Manchester City have to be favourites to do the unthinkable, really, for many clubs and mm -hmm. achieve a quadruple, actually go one better than they did last season. And you can see why this talk is here, Janish. What are your thoughts on whether it's a possibility for them? Well, of course it is, uh, based on, uh, based on you know, the, the squad, their experiences last, uh, last season, the fact that they've gotten rid of that, uh, you know, monkey, that they've had on their uh, backs uh, in terms of not winning the Champions League sooner, uh, but they have finally done it. So, you know, even for great players like that, it's a good experience and pressure's off to some degree. Uh, but of course, we have to remember that it's uh, all it takes one bad night, one bad game. I mean, it could come tomorrow, rotate a squad away to Newcastle, St. James's, and that's gone. And there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, there, I'm sure there'll be some going crazy about the fact that they're out of one competition, but that's the way it goes right now. Still, I think, you know, I, I wouldn't think or even talk about quadruple. Uh, the treble, repeating that would be a feat in itself. And, and I'm sure if you ask Pep Guardiola, and I think he's already been on record to kind of say that, obviously, uh, repeating his Premier League champions and defending uh, the uh, Champions League and the FA Cup are probably more realistic if you can even say that because that's crazy in itself if they were to do that uh any anything above that would be a bonus yeah obviously because the reality is no matter how good your squad is there are certain key components that can be missing that can cause a problem as well although that hasn't been the case for them so far even without some of their key players in the squad who have been out through injury they've still been looking unbeatable in many of the games they played but here is pep talking about a very similar situation ahead of that game in the carabao cup So Carabao Cup is a perfect when you are in the beginning of the season because the game is a competition beginning of the season. You have all the squad, depth squad. For the guys that don't play regularly, they have to play to the minute. That's perfect. But you have a lot of injuries. I'm not going to waste 1% of energy for Carabao Cup. Like Kyle Walker, for example, like Ruben, uh, play 90 minutes, national team 90 minutes because they are exhausted already. And and we cannot lose it. So that's why we're going to play with the guys who need it. Maybe for the academy, maybe for my back is getting better, maybe a few minutes. So. <laughs> We'll see. Oh, I'd love that. See Pep Guardiola played in this game. He'd probably still be able to make a difference as well, even with his bad back. They, they really have set the bar to a new level, though, Janish, even when they don't have all the players available that Pep would want. Well, absolutely. I mean, again, I mean, I think it's 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 smart. It's also how easily some of the new players have adjusted, right? That's that's not always the case. We see that from other teams, be it Chelsea or Liverpool. It takes a time. And you look at Jeremy Doku, you look at Guardiol, um, probably forgetting uh, uh, somebody, even Kovacic, who, who's played early on. And those players have already made a difference. So that's the scary part about Manchester City. And no matter who's out, uh, not only do they find a way, but I think they're used to that, right? I mean, I don't know if there's another club uh, in Europe that, uh, you know, where, where kind of Pep has probably let everybody know early, I don't know, four, five, six years ago, that expect the unexpected. Anybody knows that they can play in every position. And you know what? They do it well. It sounds crazy when we talk about clubs that are struggling right now. Maybe the center of the midfield is missing that one particular player. And that's uh, just, you know, such a difficulty in terms of replacing that player. That doesn't seem to be the case. And as we know right now, uh, Rodri is going to be out. There's some big matches coming up. Again, Champions League and Arsenal. And somehow you feel uh, okay, you know, I used to say that there are no irreplaceable players in Manchester City. Uh, I probably conveniently forgot Rodri at the, time, uh, at the time when I made that statement. 
But now, having slept on it for a night, I, I still think that they're capable of doing that and beating Arsenal, for example, or, or anybody else for that matter, even without Rodri. Uh, obviously, they have to get some players back because Bernardo Silva is, is a little bit injured, although not, not terrible, uh, because he can feature in that center midfield. Calvin Phillips is going to get his chance. Look at Mateus uh, uh, Nunes. I mean, that's unbelievable. We're talking about Rodri missing. We're talking, uh, talking about Calvin, Calvin Phillips. This guy came off from Wolves, and in the last two, three matches, he was arguably their best player in the center of the midfield. I mean, if you look at the way he's played, st statistically, how he adjusted and changed his role. Uh, you know, I have a Wolves fan that was saying that they, they took the long, you know, City took the wrong uh, Mateusz because they, they felt that Cunha was much better than Nunes. So, you know, that's Pep, that's Manchester City for you. That's what happens when you get amongst great players. So let's put a bow on this then if we can. Let's say, let, let's do it in terms of, Pretty strong, very strong. For you right now, if I were to ask you how much of a reality would a quadruple win for them be this season, what would your answer be in a uh, nutshell? Not, not impossible. I mean, okay. that, that's in its, that in itself is good enough because, as I said, all it takes is one bad night. And if you have it, that still doesn't change. You know, anybody's thinking, I hope, uh, about Manchester City, how good they are.